Hello everybody, Sift here again with another Backpack Worlds run, and today there has been a new patch. First of all, they added an item section where you can see what items are in the game, which really makes you feel like there are very few items in the game. And uh, let's go into the run because we want to do the new Torch build. They added a new Torch item, which needs some specific things to be gotten. These are not them. Roll, roll them. Uh, wow, I guess we're gonna go with the starting Gubert. A bit something I didn't want to get, I guess. Let's roll into a Wooden Sword plus... Uh, uh, lump of coal which is which are the new items for the new item i guess let's buy leather bag let's buy a lump of coal and i would even buy a customer card to be honest because i want to find a dragon egg early but we're gonna find the dragon egg when the time comes let's not play with customer card the goober here should give us a win on its own i think with 11 healing uh, the opponent does not have healing so as long as the goober fires twice i would say we're gonna win so it fired once here and maybe one more time yeah, that's ah, I knew it, man. I knew it that it needed to fire at least twice. Anyway, we found a deck of cards that is extremely lucky. Let's buy the inventory room. Let's buy this. And let's buy the deck of cards. Now the deck of cards, we're going to try to find the dragon. That is the most important one. Let's buy the banana here for energy, as we will have energy issues in general. Let's also buy a stone. Really game. It should maybe help us with this thing activating. Nice. And uh, let's go. We're gonna buy the torch. This here gives us two luck at the start of the fight. And they also have a torch already. And they have a wooden buckler and a double weapon. They should destroy us. Unless, once again, Gubert heals us, I would say, twice. It needs to heal us twice. Otherwise, we're not gonna survive this. Oh, one more. Nice. We healed. And ah, it's a race with the poison. Nice. We won because we are a reaper. And we were lucky enough having a Gubert here in the beginning. And here is the torch. Damage 2 to 3 on attack. 30% chance to gain 1 damage. So it's pretty much the lump of coal effect built into the weapon. That is what it is. Inventory space. Let's buy this. Let's roll. Found another lump of coal. Extremely lucky. And uh, definitely want this. And also found another wooden sword, which we're also going to buy. And we will also buy a cheap piggy, I, in my opinion, because it only costs two. Do I want a healing potion? I would say yes. A sideways healing potion build is nice. This is a good early game. We want to find as many lump of coals as possible, by the way. That is the most important item in slot. Now, as many wooden swords for uh, torches, not really. But as many lump of coals or lump of coals guaranteed, yes. So let's see how this gonna go. Uh, we are surviving here easily enough. Nice. I think we got this. They run out of stamina. We have the Gubert here carrying us through all of these fights. Very nice and quick. And then uh, let's buy one. Let's buy two. Combine it with a torch. Uh, you know what? We're gonna reorganize here to fit things better in. Let's also buy the potion for sure. Let's roll into inventory maybe. Nice. Another banana is important. Now Comp coal is 100% important and a leather bag. Uh, we can't really sell anything here to get the money we need, so that is irrelevant. You go here, you go here. I would like to be able to put something up there too, but I don't see that happening. Might as well have the goober. Ah, you know what? Actually, I can just do this. And although we lose out on that, at least I have an active item on that. Yeah, we lose on the poison effect, but we gain on the fact that the goober is going to be firing more often. That's how we're going to play this. Have the stone here. Have you here. And actually the piggy bank for money is more important than luck in my opinion. So let's go. Let's see how this can go. But it's a double poison build. We don't really remove poison. I mean we do remove poison with a health potion. They have a double wooden buckler though. So And they blocked twice, twice. I think they blocked three times twice. Was it? Again twice. Again twice. What is this man? We win, but that was very weird that they blocked so many times twice. It seemed like a bug. Uh, let's buy another lump of coal. Let's throw these in. Let's buy the banana for even more healing. And I think we're good to go. Let's roll them. Nice, found another wooden sword for another with to combo with another lump of coal. Do I want to have three of those? I mean, I want the lump of coal, so that's for certain. Ah, this is cheap. We're going to find more lump of coals, are we not? I just need to find like three more or four more. Let's definitely go for the energy pack and definitely go for the attack speed. Throw this in. That was a mistake actually rolling without this actually connected. Let's sell this. And let's buy... Can I even fit the wooden sword right now? I mean, I can definitely fit it over the... I, I guess over the piggy bank. Or I can say let's not have poison. That could be a choice. Let's not have luck. Like I previously said, that would be the actual choice. But let's go. Continue with energy and stamina pack there. Let's see how this is gonna go. 
Nice, smack him. Uh, theoretically, we have a triple weapon build, and with a double banana, we should be able to maintain my energy. Now, spikes are gonna kill us in general, but we also have a goobert carrying us through this, if need be. I need to reorganize again, by the way. I want to have anything connected to goobert be in the poison zone. Better than having the goobert in the poison zone. Nice, we won. We even had a potion there that we popped. On the whip, cheap, nice. Let's buy energy, let's buy you, let's put this in, let's find cards. Nice, attack speed's guaranteed, yes, I buy that. And let's go on. I would say let's put the poison things inside the poison zone. Like this. I guess this is going to be attacking faster, so I think this is better. And if anything, we should have it. Uh, you go here. Reorganize. Nice. Let's go like that. I'd say gloves of haste. Should be a win. Yeah, I mean, they also are going for the torch. They have two lump of coal on the side. I want to find as many lump of coals as possible. So we need to roll them and buy them if we can do so. Four of them would be nice. Yeah, five of them would be the best in slot, by the way. And we won here because of the multiple weapon build. Plus the fact that I have a double banana keeping us in the game even more. Let's go with attack speed. I would say this goes on the banana in general. But I need to somehow put it to give it to the banana. Something like this. Yeah. You can be wherever else. Let's roll them. Uh, no, let's roll them. Uh, fun energy, which we will need in general. We will have energy issues. So might as well buy this. Roll them. You know what? Cheap customer cards are yes. That's going to help us find the dragon. And we will definitely buy second potion. So we get that going. Let's go. Uh, I can definitely make this better. Is this better? I don't care about the poison. I only care about the energy. Let's go. I can definitely make the gloves of haste better, but it is what it is as of this moment. Might as well have it like that. Smack him, smack him all. As long as energy is there. Yeah, we do have energy guaranteed. We don't spend that much energy, to be honest. And we're winning. We have them on the poison robes because we're attacking often enough to poison them a lot. I will definitely reorganize to put the more things in the poison zone and have the guru outside of that. Okay, here I could either go with the Chris Dagger because I'm gonna be stunning a lot, or we're gonna go Nocturnal Locker because we're gonna have a bunch of weapons. I'm gonna go with this. Weapons steal 20% life, healing is amplified, and also gives us two vampires at the start of the fight. And I found Holo Lizard, now the run is a go. Now this here, a dragon that is, can burn the torches into burning torches. That's literally the idea of the build. <laughs> I just explained it to you. So we want to be burning all the torches so that uh, they become the upgraded version of them. Let's buy the customer card. Maybe it's going to help us with the egg. I don't have money. So let me reorganize here so we actually fit the torches in a way where I can buff them with it into the rocker. Reorganize time. Okay, done. So yeah, now I have all of these having lifesteal and the goober still connected. I think we're good to go. The Gubert, I would make a light Gubert, by the way. I would say light Gubert's the best. And let's go. This here firing, by the way, gives us three heat. So we have 6% uh, attack speed. Let's go. They are a wannabe spikes build, but we easily got them. They are not fast enough at getting us. Easy. Easy. Found enough another energy. You know what? I think the time has come. Ah, let's buy the energy. I think the time has come to find the... Wow. On the tax, we then find another lump of coal, which is extremely important, by the way. Now, look at this. The flames are propagating. So I can have this here. This is going to burn the uh, burning coal, and this uh, torch is going to light that torch. What does the torch do? The burning torch. So start of battle, gain 3 heat. On attack, 30% chance to gain 1 damage. If you have at least 15 heat, gain 2 damage instead. Very, very busted, in my opinion. We'll buy even more attacks. But then I found the dragon egg. So from the next turn on, the run is literally a go. I just need to find as many lump of coals as possible. The run is done. Like, the run is ready. 100% ready. Uh, I want this attack speed on something, I would say. On something, I would say. Yeah, like that. And I guess you should be like this. But then the Goobert is not firing. I think we're good as is. Let's go. I'm I'm ready. The run is a go. The run is a go. Nice. I'm super happy about it. Now we just want to find as many lump of coals as possible. It's so awesome that the build transforms into a burning torch build. And now we have energy issues. Because they have a shield of valor blocking our hits and gain, stealing one energy away from us. They also have 10 vampires. We're gonna lose this fight. Uh, we drank the potions. They did fire in the order I want them to. That's nice. 
And we're dead. Was there an option for getting another potion that I threw away? I definitely want to get quadruple potions if possible. Nice. And let's buy. Here, look at this. This flamed up and this flamed up. The burning coal. So what does this do? 50% chance to deal plus 5 damage and give us 1 heat. So that's how we're going to generate heat. Let's definitely buy this. And also definitely buy this, I would say. Put it here. Do like a mini reorganize. And put the dragon. No, no, not yet. The dragon egg is going to be put in, but it's not going to be activated yet. I do want room for my potion explosion. Let's do that. Uh, the customer card is no longer needed, honestly, but there is also no reason to throw it away as of this moment. I'm looking if I can somehow fit my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't think that's really possible. Maybe if I have the locker somewhere else, like maybe if I do it like this. And then have the cards. Yeah, I don't think it's really possible as of this specific moment. I guess you're only in. I, I can definitely fit this. Reorganize time. Done. I told you I can do this. Okay. Uh, let's also have these be in order of whatever. And uh, let's go. This is going to light up anyway. We don't need this to connect. Let's also have inventory space. Somewhere around here. You know, I'm missing the both potion belts, which are going to go like here and here. And then these are going to go up there. It doesn't matter. The bill doesn't go anyway. The bill is ready. The bill is ready. We just need to survive three turns. So this is a fatigue-ish build. We have my nine heat. So this is going to go up and up, by the way. How did they not prevent 15% of that? I don't know. So for the best, we're still at nine heat. We are losing the poison fight. So that's really, really, really bad. As we're gonna die from poison and fatigue. And here they go. They start their attack on us. They did fire on the wrong order. So it doesn't actually matter which way you put them in. And we actually found a lightsaber to combine with a Goobert. That's extremely lucky that we got it this early. As we still have energy issues going on for us. Let's not buy that as we're not gonna have money. Uh, we will sell the customer card so we will have money. Let's buy this. And let's buy this. Nice. So we're gonna go up. Let's go with light Goobert. <laughs> like good word let's buy this and let's go i'm waiting for the dragon to collapse a collapse i don't know a collapse and this is a ripsaw blade which is no issue for us we have our 12 heat let's begin once again this here burning coal every time attacks has a 15 percent chance to give us heat right now we're at 13 here we go nice so we speed up now the heat is also giving us banana energy which is good a uh, banana attack speed is what i mean to say and maybe the Goobert's gonna save us. The opponent does not scale anything. We also don't scale anything. They have more poison than us. Now we don't even have poison in the first place. We have also a bit of cold. And we won. Nah, it's a race. No, almost lost, but we actually won. Foo! And we got the dragon popped. And we got the light Goobert. So now, dragon definitely goes up there. Now the build is guaranteed to go. We will also buy a Jinx or Killer. For sure. Roll him found a this is extremely lucky that we found another burning coal extremely lucky i don't want another egg i don't need another dragon we're gonna go with a single dragon build uh yeah time to combine reorganize time Okay, so here we go. As of this time, we are only boosting the dragon, the Ruby dragon with the Nocturne Lockplifter. And the idea is that this thing does not spend stamina. So this can attack as fast as it wants. The idea, uh, we're gonna build that. All the gloves of face are gonna go into that. Not yet, but it's gonna happen. And this Jinx or Killer is hitting everything. Once again, the call says that 50% chance to deal plus 5 damage and gain heat. So we'll start gaining heat faster and faster. That is the idea here. Let's see. Also, we have 20% life still on the dragon. So as long as the dragon is attacking, we're healing. And we have Jinx or Killer buffing everything we have. Opponents are taking away my buffs. I'm at 13 heat right now. They have 4 spikes. 13 heat still. And we got him. And now the build is an actual go into the endless mode. And we even have a lot of endless turns. 6, that is. Nice. Got it. Got the Ruby Chonk. Let's buy inventory. Let's roll him. Uh, let's roll him again. Found the new backpack and also found the Torquilla. Uh, the new backpack does not really fit as of this specific one. You know what? Let's buy the Torquilla for now because it's 9. And we're going to definitely buy this. As we do have inventory space, let's put both of those there. Let's put the Torquilla here. 
I would like to be hitting the bananas with this. I think we're good like that. It's hitting that banana. So what does this do? On hit, gain one heat. When you have at least 15 heat, has a 30% chance to stun your opponent for half a second. We also have two times a 15% chance to deal five damage and gain one heat on this. And then we also have three burning coaches that give us three heat each at the start of the fight. And then they also gain a two damage boost if we have 15 or more. So we're going to start with nine heat from these three alone. And then this thing attacking is going to give us more and more. I would like the Nocturnal Locker to also be hitting those Burning Torches. So, uh, theoretically, I should do, like, a reorganized time here. And put everything in a way where we don't actually lose out on anything. Let, let's actually do a full-on reorganize, harms and reorganize. We, we need both of those Gloves of Face to be hitting the Ruby Chunk anyway. Like, th this is not how the build's gonna be looking. Okay, I think we're good. So, what's the idea here? The idea is just buff the burning this thing, the ruby chunk. That's it. We just want to have the ruby chunk be as busted as possible. We have the light gubit here in the corner. Now, you might say, yo, you could have the gubit better. I mean, theoretically, yes, but practically, this thing is going to be attacking the fastest possible. This, this, this is the build. Literally, it's the ruby chunk. These guys just exist to give us the buff in the beginning, and I have them nocturnal locker on them so we don't die from random spikes or whatever so that these things actually give us 20% lifesteal. So, uh, let's go and easy win through the rest of the game here oh no it's an energy drain build with poison doesn't matter as long as the ruby chunk is attacking we will be healing from the light gubert we will be healing from attacks look at them having so much blind fire do not look at the energy issue this thing is attacking the ruby chunk 38 40 burn 45 45 48 47 they're gone we had 46 poison and i was literally full life <laughs> unbelievable Love it, love it. Completely busted chunk build from here on out. Be ready to only fight these. We got 286 poison on us and we didn't even lose more than half our health ever. Ruby chunk, 270. As you can see, insanity. And uh, let's buy this. Nice. So this says add for... So two potions inside are consumed, gain a random buff. And when four potions inside are consumed, cleanse three debuffs. So, um, it's gonna only do the first thing once, because I have two potions. I could go for Stones of Riches, but no, we just want to find Coal, randomly that is. Found another one, very nice. So this is ready now. I guess you go here. Uh, can I fit these in a way where it makes sense? I'm gonna try. Let's do like reorganize after I find more things though. And now Dragon, definitely by inventory space. And we found this and this. This is gonna give us more attack speed through the Gloves of Haste. Let's reorganize time in a moment. And uh, now, actually. Okay, reorganized. I think we're ready to go. Definitely buy the Vulavan Prism, so we make the, the gloves faster. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I think there was a potion that I didn't lock. I'm not sure. I think there was a potion I didn't lock. Doesn't matter. Dragon, fire. They have a better, more defensive build than the previous one. And we're also not gaining as much fire as it was previously. No, here we go. Off we go. 21. Wong, wong, wong. Speed up. Speed up. Now, this 25 fire, by the way, speeds up everything. That includes Jinx Torquillas. That includes Bananas. It literally speeds up everything. Wong, 41. And you're gone. And you're gone. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This had 0 0.36 attack speed. This is 1.43. 1.116. Uh, the torch, 0 0.54. The banana, 2.72. The other banana, 1.76. Like, everything becomes faster and faster. I didn't actually lock it. Very nice. Let's buy that. Let's also buy this. Let's see, that's a decent spot as any. Let's roll them. Find another gloves of paste. Obviously, we buy this. Torquilla is here. I would say I want it here. Honestly. And then push these up. Or push the dragon in a different direction. I think the dragon is not in a good spot. I'm gonna reorganize. And now we're killer guaranteed by. Okay, let me reorganize so that the dragon can fit and have more access to things. I think we're good. 
Uh, I mean, the idea still is the same. I just want literally everything to be hitting the chonk. That's it. The banana, everything else does not matter. Like these three exist just so that they give us the heat in the beginning. The bananas just exist so that they give more energy to these things. Even that is not really that relevant. Maybe I should even pull this Torquilla one up. Not that it does any difference. But at least now I can have a banana here, firing that more often. Yeah. I think that's the play. And uh, let's go. And our Torquilla is going to join in a moment, make us even crazier. It's a crossblade build, so that's a bunch of scaling. But we have more scaling and better scaling, so... Let's go, 1820. They don't have enough healing to survive this. 26, 37, 30. Wong, wong, wong. Off we take. Off we take. Look at this thing. Uh, just jumping again and again and again. Opponent stun locked forever. And you're gone. And you are gone. And we obviously go for another one of these. That's, I would say, put this there. Let's buy another Torquilla. I would like to put it here, but obviously not possible. Actually, here is possible. So that is where it's going to go. Right here. And the bananas can go back to their spot. Very nice. This is also hitting everything. And our banana, honestly, no. At this point, I don't care about that anymore. Uh, I would like to buy another coal if I can. Starting energy. Might as well. It's cheap. Coal, maybe? Coal, maybe? Nope. On this. By the way, just to be clear, because I have three potions inside of the zone, they're going to give us uh, two potions inside consumed, gain a random buff. So we're going to get two random buffs when these fire. That's it. And then four potions inside fire, they're cleanse three debuffs. We don't have four potions, so that doesn't even do anything. It's a lot worse. It's a lot worse, this thing. Doesn't matter. Let's go. I want... Oh, they, they're going for a rainbow, Gubert. Nice. Good, good, uh, good try. Andy, new ruling. Good, good luck with that. They still have shielding. So they're still surviving. I want somebody that can survive enough, man. Most people cannot survive this onslaught of heat. Can I get 100 heat? I would like to be able to get 100 heat. Wong, wong. Look at this. We're not doing enough damage to kill them fast. No! 63 heat. Fair enough. <laughs> Can I fight some healing of unhealing or something? 375 damage on this. Yeah, they didn't even have enough life to survive this. They did nothing to us. Literally nothing. Okay, let's buy that. I mean, not literally nothing. Almost nothing. On another Goobert, which I can literally just throw in here and just get more healing out. Like, I can push these down and put the Goobert there. Looking up and down. Like this. Now, that should make us immortal, actually. Because these are also going to fire fast, and this is also going to fire fast. So, and another one. Well, you guys go back to your spots now. Because I want the attacks beyond that thing. Yeah, this Goober is not going to fit anymore. <laughs> I found it on sale though, so I can just sell it back. This is also on sale. But it doesn't fit. Yeah, it doesn't fit. And we found a lump of coal. Let's go. Put it in, so it's going to become burning coal. Another one. Goober, you're gone. Nice, these are all gonna become lump of burning coals. Love it. Super lucky there on my end. Lonskin potion, I don't care about it. Let's go, I would say. Yeah, I'm super lucky. Because these are gonna give us even more heat now. Fire, fire! Let's begin the madness. 21, 22, 24, 23. They are not surviving, man. They are not surviving. Come on, book. Come on, book. Save them. Save them, book! No, book! Immortality! They weren't fast enough. <laughs> uh, nobody's fast enough. I mean, we are the burn build. And now we have both of these torches also having a 50% chance to give us heat. So we go even higher on that. And I could put them just in the backpack. So after three seconds, we get the guaranteed to heat. But no, we're, we're going to go with actually using those and trying to get power out of them. I found another vampirism glove. Very nice. This is actually the final fight, so that's not going to actually ever happen. We even found the last potion. I'm going to sell the flying agaric and buy attack speed and put it on the chunker and then do a whole reorganized time just to fit literally one more attack speed in. Or we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, so what I meant to say is I could just buy this fanny pack and put it and then get more attack speed. Actually, this is very easy to do. I don't need to do a whole reorganized. It's just going to go here. One to the left and one to the right. This goes up. Done. Didn't really change that much. And I did get the attack speed, which is worth it. And this doesn't fit anymore. Nice. I guess it goes here. Energy is a bit more irrelevant. Found another one of these. And another Torquilla. Can I buy another Torquilla? Is the question. 
This can go. Right. This can go. This gives us two luck. I mean, this has a 90% accuracy. Ah, two luck is irrelevant. Forget that thing. And then what? And then sell what? I guess a backpack. So you go away. I'm at seven. And this sells for one. I guess they should go here. And this sells for three. And the Torquilla fits. Easy enough. Very nice. Nice. So let's go and hope that this is going to be as slow as possible. Because we're going to destroy these guys anyway. Okay, they are not a very slow build. They are a practical large sword build. So they're going to die. They have a 78% chance to block our hit though. So maybe they're going to survive. Let's go. They also have 11 heat. That's nice. They're going to try to smack us to death fast. But as long as my as long as my dragon is firing, we're at 20 right now, 21, 23. Fire. We're not healing though. This thing is blocking everything. We're not healing. That's an issue. We got hit. 30 heat. Let's go. Stun him to death. Now we start healing. Now we do actually start healing. 33. 34. 36. Boom, boom, boom. They're dying. They are dying. And this became a, a quick greatsword. They got the empower up. I don't think they're going to be fast enough. Look at the dragons just appearing, then gone. Attack, gone. Boom, 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 boom. You're gone. 50 heat. You're gone. Boom, boom, boom. Easy enough. Very nice. It wasn't really visible, the speed at which we had. It would be nice if there was a replay, so I could play this in real-time speed. We killed them in 15 seconds. 347 damage. Come on, man. Come on. They didn't have healing at all. Why was this not healing build? They had shielding, but this why was this not a healing build? That was so sad. We could have had something great here. Really sad. And they were playing with Carrot Goober to actually get the activation of the power. Fair enough on that end. And they also had all the potions here being drunk. Ah, this was a nice build, man. Eclipse. But I was a bit sad that I was not able to get what I wanted. They, they never attacked us, by the way. 15 seconds in and they they were stun locked to death. They were not allowed to even play. So, nice. This is completely naturally busted. This is literally what you want to do. I did a test run. This is my first attempt at this after the test run and yeah it, it's very easy just just get the burning torches i mean not very easy you need to be lucky you need to find the ruby chunk early if you find the ruby chunk the run is over and if you even have burning coals the run is even more over but um yeah the burning torches is what are what do the difference beginning with a bunch of heat and then also i would say the burning coal is the biggest difference maker like maybe the torches are not needed but double burning coal on a ruby chunk that is the play and you don't even need to invest into torches at all now that I'm thinking about it. Because the ruby chunk on itself creates the burning coal anyway. So just the burning coal existing is what makes a difference. Because this thing says 50% chance to deal plus 5 damage and gain 1 heat. And uh, well, if this thing attacks once every 0.21. So this attacks 5 times per second, right? 5 times per second, you know, 15% chance of rolling once. 15% chance rolling twice. And then a guaranteed gain 1 on hit from the itself. And then also 30% chance to stun for half a second. So, yeah, it's mad lad stun lock uh, godness here. And everything had crazy attacks. 1.37, 1.09, 1 1.05. Bananas, 1.4, 1.7. These things, 0 0.38, 0 0.49. Like, everything had mad lad attacks speed on this. Because of the 52 stacks of heat, which is an insane buff in itself. Really enjoyed, really busted. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.